Hi, this is Belinda with Belinda's Baubles, and welcome to a special Out and About to Scarborough Renaissance Festival in Waxahachie, Texas. I took this video the end of April, just before Yarn Crawl, and the festival is one that has gone on in Waxahachie or North Texas since 1981. Sievert, Gilbert, Eggie, and I had gone to the Irish Festival in March and won tickets for this festival, so we were having a blast, and I wanted to go on a yarn hunt. I even asked the mermaids, is it possible to find yarn at a Renaissance Festival? So I thought I would bring you along, show you a little bit of the Renaissance Festival, and what I ended up finding. We have the royal court here. Each year they have it as a village, a um, 16th century village, with waiting for a visit from Henry VIII and his royal court. So this is supposedly the royal court, I guess, entering into the village. These buildings stay here year round and they come for this eight week uh, weekend session. This year it went from April 6th and it's going until May 27th. So they end on Memorial Day weekend with a three day weekend. Everyone was just having a great time. I was there with Seaver and some of his friends. Here's the King, Henry VIII, and the parade is coming to an end. But they didn't just have a parade here. They also had many other things, such as, here's the end, birds of prey demonstrations. Isn't that bird beautiful? They had different types of hawks. And of course, what's a Renaissance festival without knights? I almost missed seeing one of their um, competitions. There was also royal knighting for the kids to come up for. And of course, a festival has to have food. And this was Artisans Weekend, so lots and lots of artisans. Everyone dressing up in costumes. Seaver and I had a blast with that, along with his friends that were there with us. But this one was different. See the picture? Also, everyone could get involved with dancing and joining in with those that were working the Renaissance Festival. But what did I find? This is SWS Scribal Workshop. They have two different stalls. The other one is actually the Scribal Shop that the dad runs. Here you have the mom and the two daughters. And you've got a weaver some and knitters. They do their own hand dyed yarn, which is sold online. I'll have information down below on where you can find it and other tools here. And these are all botanically dyed um, in the way that they, it would have been done during the time period, the Renaissance time period. Aren't these colors beautiful? They're all historically dyed yarns. And again, I hope you have had a great time with me. This is just a little view of my weekend. And have a great day, great week, and I'll see you soon.